everyone. One of the other things that club officers can do is add people into Easy Speak. So, for example, if you are adding someone in who has become a new member, you would want to go to Membership Management over here on the left hand side of Easy Speak and click Edit Member. And here I'm already at the Edit Member page. And if you are adding someone in, you will come over here to the Add User button. Click that. And I'm just going to use my information just to show you how simple this is. And basically it defaults to visitor, but let's say it's a new member. And I usually leave that alone uh, because I usually do this the day that I learn that we have a new member. The treasurer will let me know that we have somebody new. And the treasurer will send me a, the telephone number and the email of the new member. And so if we know who they were introduced by, we could certainly uh, put that information here. But I click this button that says input the full name and the email. So if we're using me as an example, uh, my first name is Julie, my last name is Bonner, and my email address, there I am, good. And when I click submit, it says, oh, there's another user. And sometimes this happens. Sometimes you have a person who uh, comes back to Toastmasters International and they may have been in a club that actually used EasySpeak. And if that happens, you can just adopt their information in. But let me go back. So this time I'm going to use a different email. And hopefully this time it will let me get a little bit further. When I click Submit, it will then ask me for a username and, and I can put in the telephone number. The username is required. There's a new password and confirm password that EasySpeak fills in itself. And I leave that alone because once I put in somebody's username and I put in their phone number and I click Create New User, what will happen on the other end is that it will send me an email confirming that the person has been set up, but it will also send the new member an email giving them information about how to sign in to EasySpeak, and it will also require them to change whatever this default password is. I don't think it ever tells anybody what it is. I could put something in here that I would know, but it doesn't really matter. I have found over time that whatever is here it gets changed the very first time that the user signs in to EasySpeak. Once that is done, you're good to go. Now the person is in, they can then let you know if they're going to attend meetings, they can sign up for roles, they can do all of the rest of the things that are on EasySpeak. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video. Thank you.